What's up, YouTube? I'm Z, and this channel shows you the world through my lens. Um, I was told the other day that there was something I needed to check out. Actually, by somebody, I, I, was, uh, I was at the gym, and I think I was actually in the middle of my, uh, like I do like a shooting workout for basketball. Uh, like I'd done my upstairs, like my gym work, and then I went and did my shooting workout. Uh, and the guy came down, he was talking to me, and he's like, oh, did you see what happened with Ronaldo? And I was like, no, I didn't see He's like, oh, he got a red card. I was like, don't tell me anymore. I got to check this out uh, for my channel. He's like, yeah, that's what I thought I'd tell you because uh, it, it could be good for your channel. So we're going to find out. But I'm very curious, man. I want to know what happened. Um, now, I see some shorter videos, like two minutes. I mean, maybe they're good enough, but I'm just concerned that if there's further context to what led up to this like i can see the thumbnails here it looks like he's throwing an elbow maybe but if there's further context that i would want to know that context like if it was a chippy game if there was people being aggressive with him ahead of time rather than just the clip itself i think it's important to know the context so i'm going to check out this nine minute one uh because it looks like it might be more of a summary of the whole game and then we'll we'll hopefully check out the the situation so let's see what we got here Competition will bring them some silverware. Yeah, it has to. I don't think the win. Luis Castro has decided to uh, change that formation that has delivered Al three times. Al Itihad waiting for the winners in Thursday's final. Al Itihad winning the competition last season. Well, of course, they also won the title too. So uh, Al Hilal looking to emulate that. Ronaldo, who has won over like 30 a, trophies in a glorious club. I, I see these two names putting to, putting to getting put together uh, fairly often. Um, Al-Hilal and al Nasser uh, Are these guys like rivals in this league? I just haven't been following it super hard. Like I just check out, obviously, the, the highlights of the players. Of Korea. Let me know. I'll fancy a bit of this. To Jesus, the 69-year-old Portuguese manager of Al Hilal. It's another Portuguese in the opposite. And listen to the reaction of the supporters as the two captains lead out their respective sides. Can you imagine how cool it would be to be those kids? Two meetings. Schnall hasn't refereed Al Hilal this season, but has taken charge of two of Al Nasser's fixtures. One win and one defeat. Fascinating. See who comes out on top. Two different systems. I think it's important from Al Nasser's point of view. They don't leave in all competitions. They're unbeaten in their last 40 matches and they've won the last 32 in a row. Competitions. They're unbeaten in. It's important from Al Nasser's point of view. They don't leave in all competitions. They're unbeaten. In Who's he talking about? Who's unbeaten for that long? Their last 40 matches, and they've won the last 32 in a row. Golly. Gives you an idea about the size of the task ahead of LM getting in down that left hand side. Fantastic pace. Just couldn't provide Outside? the cross. No. Nope. I thought like the ball was going out, but Ronaldo oh, has collected look at that it. Speed. The angle not favourable. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a tough angle. That's why perhaps it was off tough target. Angle. I think everybody in the stadium thought that ball was going out, Don. Incredible. Maybe even Ronaldo himself. Well, a, I think he thought he was offside, angle. but he wasn't. Well, tight, probably just on. But yeah, I think everyone switched off and landed right on the line. Now he's got the defender face. A lovely layoff. Bozovic. Uh, Ronaldo again, Mane has to stay on side. Flag side. stays down for now. Trying to pick out Brozovic and then the flag is raised. To the box. And Brozovic finds him. Sadio Mane just trying to they arc his run. It was like tight. He could have been on line with that guy right there. Sloppy ball though, back to Brozovic for Mane. Chelsea to Al Hilal. Mane beat the offside trap, Flake stays down, Ronaldo will attack this and Ooh. blast it wide. And then look at the Almost. assistant referee as though, well, surely you're going to flag for offside there. He hasn't. Do you know wow. what? Come down. I thought that might have clear. Too. Ronaldo was caught by Koulibaly. Clumsy tackle that from Koulibaly. 
Yeah. Right. So, so this is the type of context that I want to see, right? Like the, these are the things that can lead to somebody acting out in a certain way, the frustration building. Uh, so in this moment, he seems frustrated that maybe there isn't a, a higher call here uh, on, on the on the contact. Maybe like a ball card. Up. Maybe he was hoping there would be a card. He was going to win. Ronaldo just using his experience, telling the referee it was a foul. Potentially. Cleverly done. Bit of space here for Brozovic. On for Ronaldo. Ooh, Another fine save by Bono. This time the flag does go up. Yeah, I mean, maybe by a foot. Good move, that. that was Malassa. Close. Been busy, linesman on that side. Let's see. Fabio was under pressure and he didn't have the skill to wriggle out of that. Ronaldo will chase. Abelay has gone with him. Oh. Still got the footwork, hasn't he? It's lovely skill. Very quick feet, Ronaldo. Not great, not great attempts here, but uh, one thing I want to point out is that Yo, are y'all seeing, like, we're just, you know, watching some of these highlights. My guy is still running, like, a marathon. Like, I've seen him do, like, six long runs already in just this highlight so far. <laughs> like, <laughs> Not opportunity for Al Nasser. Wow. Surely even he won't take this on. It looked like it was the green pitch and everything. And hear the noise and see your heroes at close quarters. You can't beat it. Um, Tavio's dummy. Ronaldo's nudge. Nice move. And they come again. Now the crowd love those kind of took. I have to say the passing is a little disappointing right now in general from the team because it seems like they're not doing a good job of passing where they're gonna be. They pass like where they were when they sent the pass. So multiple times I'm seeing players break their stride to try and receive a pass versus getting it in stride. Sweeping it forward towards Ronaldo. Again, the flag is raised. Wow, what was wrong with that guy? Mane. In towards Ronaldo, lovely ball, ooh, and he's ooh. in the back post by a tub. Hey, that was offside. Offside? Fabio coming from a wider area. you got to see the re replay. Might be a different story. Can we see the replay? Ronaldo saying no touch, but if he made an action to play the ball, it would then be an up. Oh, yeah, Tavio is onside. Does yeah. Ronaldo make an effort to play the ball? I yeah. think he does. So even if he doesn't touch the ball, but he tries, that counts as offside? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So therefore, harshly on Al Nasser and Otavio. This goal might be ruled out. Good finish by his teammate. If he doesn't make the action there, Ronaldo, that goal would be legal. Your analysis, Don, is excellent because Otavio... Huge talking point right at the end of this first half. Ronaldo, as captain, leads the protestations from an Al Nasser point of view. Can't change it now. So this is where players don't know the laws because Ronaldo... Corner headed away by... So I guess they were arguing that particular situation but as the commentators explain the rules or maybe it's the rules for this specific league i don't know if there's different rules in different leagues uh but obviously there's some some disconnect there and, and again we're seeing frustration build up right this is the context that's important uh i'm a little bit savage and now there was uh, gone down in the middle frustration i just want savage. to see that where players don't know the laws because so we're yeah. going ahead of the way by some physicality there uh, gone down in the middle, feeling that he was barged, certainly impeded in some manner. Okay. He gets hauled to the floor, doesn't he? Crazy yeah. defending. Well, Hamdan, the player. The best chance that uh, Al Halal have created this evening. Yellow card's just been brandished at the director. Good ball looking forward ball. for Ronaldo. Wow. Kulabali is the defender and again just shows his quality. And then patient defending. Young defenders seen Ronaldo there. Might you, sir? Well, they're around about now that uh, Laporte and Lajami and Al Fatil will have their presence, but Ronaldo will take it on. 
even to the great man. That's probably one in a hundred because of the distance, because of... Ruggled to find some room deep towards Ooh, Ronaldo. Good ball down in. Beautifully. Oh. Couldn't get the shot away because Al Sharani was in trouble. Oh, that was brilliant. good defending. Brilliant defending because Ronaldo pulled. And Al Sharari, you'll see here, just nicks it. Ooh, I mean, I'm sure that hurt Ronaldo a bit, but the other player, he just took a, like, you know, Ronaldo attempting a shot, which we know he's got one of the most powerful shots in, in football. And he took that to the back of his calf. Have y'all ever been hit in your calf before? Do you know how painful that is? Oh my God. Did off his toes then Ronaldo. Yo, if people touch my calf wrong, I'm jumping. Accidentally right. catches him. Obviously not on purpose, but. Well, lost it there. Checked his shoulder and then just got a touch on it with his knee. <sighs> Behind Al Halal in the title race. It will leave them just chasing the King Cup. This is Brozovic, and this is Ronaldo. Okay. Kulavale's block. See, I just want to point out, even on that attempt, I mean, it was a better pass than we've been seeing in the video, but he once again had to alter his stride to receive the, the pass versus when we've seen clips, uh, obviously, from, from other leagues and stuff. The passes tend to be a little bit more accurate and crisp where the player can continue normal stride and and obviously make something more of the attempt, right? Ronaldo, jumping deeper. See, like that. Him. Now, I know that the defense got their foot on it, but Im like, imagine that defender you know, was a step behind. That ball, for his own player, was perfectly placed. So that pass from Ronaldo was very nice. Uh, you're just not seeing as much of that from, from everyone else. So on the move. Strongly there. This might boil over. Whoa. This might boil over. There's an elbow somewhere. Here's the incident involving Ronaldo. Yeah. There it is. Albalai. There's the elbow. Yeah. I mean, two elbows. So on a yellow card, you were going to get sent right off away. anyway. Ooh. Did you see that after too, though? Okay, so listen, we, we saw a lot of context from, from this video of like some frustration building up. I think a lot of it, you know, being like some of those moments early in the first half where he thought he should get the yellow card. Um, then there was some other, you know, physicality. And then in the second half, physicality in the box off of the ball in. Uh, actually, it might have been a corner. Um, I, I think also getting a chance to see his attempts tonight there could be just some frustration on the performance because a lot of his attempts weren't on goal like on target and the ones that were just weren't super great uh they were pretty like easy for the goalie to stop except for that one i think was was a really good save from the goalie but the other ones were fairly easy to get to so all of this context matters to create the the frustration that he might be feeling in this moment and now here uh what very clearly is going to be their ball He's coming to throw it in. This player is getting in his way to impede him from getting the ball um, and then gets up in his face. And this is going to be the boiling, boiling point. And he reacts, unfortunately, in this physical manner. So we're going to watch it again. He puts his shoulder down, one elbow to kind of the lower chest area. And then the second follow through was up here. The second one didn't look that hard. The first one looked like he put his shoulder and elbow down into it. Um, so the second one kind of just looked like a softer follow up. But Obviously, they're not going to allow for someone to do that. <laughs> so uh, it makes sense that he's going to get a red card here. But we're going to watch it again. So it starts here when he goes to pick up this ball to throw it in. Manassa on the move. Oh, strongly there. This might boil Ooh. over. This might boil over. Yeah, and then, and then obviously being physical there with everyone else. To, I mean, then he's going to be in defensive mode, right? He just took out a player, and now he's going to be defensive to make sure that he doesn't get attacked by, by other players. There's an elbow somewhere. Here's the incident involving Ronaldo. Yeah. There it is. Elbow light. There's the elbow. See this first one? Yeah. Right here. Boom. I and mean, two the elbows. Next one was a little softer. So on not 
making an excuse for it, but I think the first one is the one that really did the damage. Now, this part right here, Ronaldo is not a good look, my man. Again, I know you're frustrated. I know you're probably a little bit upset right now. Uh, but after you get this red card, this is not a good look. On a yellow card, you're going to get sent off anyway. That was not a good look. Um, you you got to control that a little better, my guy. You've just been given a straight... We only saw the red, so... Looks like it's a straight red rather than a second yellow. And that is that for Al Nasser in the Super Cup this season. I must admit his presence felt this evening. But his frustrations boiled over. Frustrations, yep. And this is rather unnecessary. Yeah, it's not good. He's sarcastically applauding the referee. Now, I'd love to know, guys, what... Uh, sorry, this already automatically went to the next video. I'd love to know, guys, like, what is the situation over there? I mean, is he is he presumed to be happy? Is he not happy with his situation being in this team, in this league? Um, I don't know. As I mentioned, I don't really typically follow leagues. I've just been watching the highlights that, that you guys have kind of told me to check out. Uh, but I'd love to know some context on that, man. Hey, uh, I know Ronaldo had that in him, but all right. <laughs> if Ronaldo, Ronaldo's got a little bit of that fight in him. I think he's been, I've seen him at uh, at boxing and MMA fights, so he's picked up some moves there. Probably, hopefully not from boxing because that's not allowed, but MMA may be uh, picking up some moves there. But man, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, obviously, I think hardcore Ronaldo fans might always side with him like with blinders on but I think the red card was deserved I think no matter how frustrating the game might be even if you feel like the refs are not doing a good job um, I don't think it's appropriate to to take it to that level uh, but you know there could be further context I mean one of the things that is missing from these videos uh, is the audio right so we don't know what's being said uh, it could be that could be another layer like I think about the Zidane headbutt and then a lot of you were talking about how like the person had like insulted his family, maybe his sister or something. Yeah, man, somebody insults my sister, I'd headbutt you too. Maybe not headbutt because I don't give myself a concussion, but I'm putting something through you. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's another layer that we might not know. So we'll see. If you guys are still here, I appreciate you spending your time with me. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you next time.